We're going to set up the Spectrum DX6i transmitter for the 3GX setup. So power on. I would suggest that you do a data reset, and that way just about everything is the way it should be when you're setting up the 3GX. If you already have your model set up, I would do a reset anyway. Because version 3 is... Uh, it's a different animal. Just about everything is at default. You will need to change your swash type to CCPM 120 degrees. And I would name the model and set it to helicopter type. Now we'll go to the adjust list. Be sure your dual rates and expo are set at 100%, and uh, I would just inhibit that. Travel adjust all needs to be at 100. Sub trim all needs to be zero. This is the way I would set up the gyro. I would use the flight mode switch, set normal for 68%, and stunt for 67%. And these are just starting points. You'll need to uh, test fly the helicopter and adjust your gain. If you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my tail rotor basics video. The throttle curve needs to be at default while you're doing this setup. Pitch curve. I like to set pitch curve like this with 0.2 at 50% and 0.4 at 50%. And that way I don't have to worry about my collective stick being exactly in the center. This is especially important with the DX6i because... Uh, you don't want to have to uh, really fine-tune that stick position while you're doing the DIR setup. So when it's set up this way, if it's anywhere near the center, it's at 50%. This is where you're going to be adjusting your cyclic rate and, uh, or your, sorry, your pitch range and your cyclic rate in the swash mix menu. All these need to be off or zero. And that's it. You're done. You're ready to go set up your 3GX. Don't forget to set your pitch curve back.